Hi, I'm Monty of Monty'sHam.com and I want to show you how to make turnips in the crock pot with your ham in the crock pot. So what we're doing is we, we've got this nice big turnip. Now what's interesting is when I was growing up in Canada, this was called a turnip. In this country it's called a rutabaga. But the truth is they're all turnips. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into smaller pieces and I'm going to add it to the crock pot where my ham is cooking. Now you want to take off all of the outer bits of the turnip, anything that looks like this, obviously you don't want to cook. You really want to take off this part of the turnip, which is the actual roots of the turnip. So you want to get rid of all of that, and then you're left with this nice big chunk of turnip. Now, let's take the turnip, which is, a, this is a, turnip is a very dense vegetable. So it's, it's not the easiest thing to cut into, to be honest with you. I want to take some pieces and just cut them into chunks like this. I'm doing these so that they have a little shape to them, so that they actually look pretty when they will come out of the crock pot and will serve them. So I'm doing sort of triangular shapes of turnip. So you first eat with your eyes, so it's, it's always nice if your food looks pretty. What you'd like is probably a cup full of turnip pieces per person that you're serving. Now, this is really easy. If we've put um, our ham into the crock pot with two cups of orange juice, and we have then put some glaze on top of our, our, um, our ham. So all you're doing is just dropping these bits in. They're going to get all this flavor from the orange juice, which would be wonderful. So they're going to really, really take on the flavor of the orange juice and the ham juices, and they'll be absolutely delicious when you, get them, when you pull them out of here. And when you do that, by the way, you could choose to, if you'd like, you could puree them. Um, I would serve them whole because I think they, they will look very pretty on the plate. But if you want to do a turnip puree with the resulting turnips from your crock pot cooking method here, feel absolutely free to do that. So there we are. Put the top on, continue cooking, and you're making your own dinner. It'll be made for you by the time you get home. I'm Monty Matthews from Monty'sHam.com and I've just shown you how to make turnips in the same crock pot that you're cooking your ham in. And for the best in all natural ham, you know where to come. Come to Monty'sHam.com and we'll set you up with one of the best hams you ever tasted.